Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Angel. I love talking about influencers, who they are, where they came from, why they're on our For You page, weird internet finds, and pretty much anything else that I want to talk about. So if any of that sounds interesting to you, feel free to go ahead and hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. It does help out my teeny tiny channel. Today we're talking about someone that I never thought we would talk about and that is Megan Trainer. Now, I'm sure you guys have seen this on your For You page already, but I just saw this last night and I knew the second I saw it, I needed to make a video about this. Megan Trainer has her own podcast called Working On It, where she recently had Trisha Paytas guest starring, and it was called Working On Motherhood Part Two. In this podcast, they talk about birthing, being a mother, being in the hospital, Megan Trainer's new book, and teachers. Now, this is where the controversy sparks up. If you've already seen the clips, you already know what I'm about to talk about. But in the podcast, Trisha Paytas, is that how you say her last name? I feel like I've heard it so many different ways. Trisha brings up homeschooling her kids. Megan agrees. She says that's what they're going to do with their children. She talks about kids having to have bulletproof backpacks, and she says, F that, which I mean, I agree. I think we can all agree on that point. That's a really shitty part of going to school when it shouldn't have to be a part of a kid going to school. But we'll get into that. Trisha also brings up that she's had trauma from past teachers growing up. And Megan responds with, oh, yeah, F teachers. When I tell you, I was shook. So I'm going to insert the clip here. This is taken from Sloan's channel. If any of you watch Sloan, you've probably already seen his video. If you haven't watched Sloan, you need to go watch him right now. I literally binge watch his videos all the time. But as I was going through their podcast, while the comments were all filled up with, I can't believe Megan would say that. I can't believe Megan would disrespect teachers like that. I watched the entire episode and I'm thinking they may have cut it out due to it coming with so much backlash. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the clip here. Yeah, no, but, but we're I mean, homeschooling our kids. Same. I think everyone. <laughs> yeah, like, we all, yeah. everyone on TikTok is. They're like, yeah. this is what it's like to have a kid in school in America. I have a bulletproof backpack. I was like, that. Like uh -uh. that, but also Bullying. kids can be mean. Teachers. I, that, that was my Teachers. trauma. Teachers. Teachers, you know, dude. but then also, yeah, the violence. I mean, I think it's just that thing. It's not even private school. It's just like having them homeschool. And, you know, I'm sorry, but I cannot think of a context where saying F teachers would be okay. Teachers are the most underpaid occupation out there. And they are the reasons why we're all here and adults and successful adults because we have to go to school. There's always going to be a need for teachers. There's always going to be room for teachers. And yet they are one of the lowest paid jobs that you can have. As to why that is, I will quite literally never understand. They are literally the ones that pave the way for children to grow up. Now, sure, schools aren't the best. I feel like the people who come up with the curriculums and classes that are offered in schools could probably come up with some more sustainable educational resources like, I don't know, filing our taxes, but that's a topic for a different day. So Megan did come out with an apology saying that F all teachers is not what she meant. She meant the teachers that traumatize children or shouldn't be in a teacher role. And there are plenty of teachers that probably shouldn't be in a children-based role but somebody's got to do it. Now, so far from what we've seen, Megan hasn't taken a break from social media. She's still posting on one of her more recent regular TikTok videos. She posted about like going on some trip and the comment section was just filled with, oh my gosh, I'm so glad a teacher could help you out with this and things like that. I'll pop a few up here on the screen that I genuinely enjoyed reading. While I know that the internet is sensitive about a lot of things, I think the criticism and the backlash that Megan received on this one is absolutely well warranted. Personally, growing up, there were definitely a few teachers that 
I could have lived without and didn't like going to their class. We literally had one teacher in our high school. If anybody who went to high school with me is for some reason watching this, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about. But we had one teacher in our high school who all the girls loved. He was always so nice. And he ended up getting arrested for child pornography. So yeah, F teachers like that who are just using their role to take advantage of children. But for the most part, teachers are necessary. And you know, I've definitely talked about when the time comes, but homeschooling my children, and that's more due to the fact that sending a child somewhere where it's not a guaranteed safe place, I don't like that. And unless things change, my goal is to be able to homeschool my children when the time comes. I know this one's a short video, but what do you guys think? What was your guys' reaction when you heard Megan Trainer's statement? And what was your reaction to her apology? Because I think her PR team was just like, girl, <laughs> you got to figure this one out on your own. You messed up. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. And I'll see you in the next one.